All right, guys, welcome back. It's Colon Awareness Month. I'm joined by Dr. Ray Keat to talk about some of the steps that you could take to prevent colon cancer. And we were talking, and colon cancer, it's, it's, a, it's a, a disease, I guess you could say, that doesn't have symptoms. Right. So right. how are we preventing it? So late, late in the disease, it could have symptoms like bleeding or pain. Sure. But typically, it doesn't have symptoms. It presents without symptoms. Wow. It has a precursor lesion we call a polyp. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that small polyps become big polyps. Big polyps can become cancer. So if we do a colonoscopy and remove polyps, we can virtually prevent colon cancer. Wow. So at Richmond Gastroenterology, we're passionate about prevention. Mm -hmm. And this is colon cancer, as you said, Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Colonoscopy is the best test for colon cancer prevention. Mm -hmm. And we've got offices all through Richmond Tri-Cities from Colonial Heights to Hanover, far west end. So everywhere, you guys, I don't want to hear it. You couldn't get to a place. They're everywhere. So at what age should we start doing these, these so screenings? So average risk office? patients without a family history would start at age 50. Mm -hmm. uh, there's current recommendations to move it to four, age 45, but we're waiting for insurance companies to come, come along with that. Wow. For about five or six years, it's been recommended that African Americans begin screening at age 45 because they're at an increased risk. Wow. of colon cancer. And and you said, so age 50 without the past history. My grandmother passed away from colon uh, cancer. So at what age should you start if you do have family? So history? typically with a first degree relative, meaning brother, father, mother, sister, okay. it would be 10 years. It would either be age 40 or 10 years uh, earlier than the onset of cancer in that person. So if their mother had cancer at age 38, you'd actually start at age 28. Wow. It's a little harder to predict wow. on second degree relatives. Yeah. Woo, 28 is pretty young in my mind. Yeah. I'm thinking, wow. Um, and then we were talking about it's not just men. It's not just men. Right. So people tend to think of this as a man's disease, yeah. but women have an almost equal incidence. Un undiagnosed or undetected colon cancer affects about 6% of men in a lifetime and 5% of women. Wow. So women should get women. Women are the people that make the appointments. Mm -hmm. And women <laughs> should not just make the appointment for, for their the loved one. <laughs> But they should make the appointment for themselves I, as well. I hear you, Dr. Keith. So if people have some questions, you guys have an event tonight where they can come actually and talk right. to you. Right. There's a couple docs. One from our group, uh, Christopher Lyons, are going to be with the Walk, Walk with the Doc program at the uh, Midlothian American Family Fitness. It's hosted by Bons Accord. And it starts People want to ask more questions. Six o'clock? I think that's right. Yeah, that sounds All about right. right. All right, guys. We'll be right back after the break. I called Tronfeld West and Direct. They got me 260,000 more than insurance offered. What's your